Grecia. Tonight we plan to eat al fresco, villa style. And while Phil and Steve attempt to build a Roman grill from plans copied from a kitchen in Pompeii, Robin, with a lot of help from Lindsay, is starting to prepare the dishes that will make up our Roman feast. You know, I came across a lovely recipe one in one of the Roman books for dormice covered in honey, yeah. rolled in poppy seeds, and then grilled. Is that, oh. that going to be a bit high? And then you've got the pan on top of here. See, so you didn't anything. say anything no, about that, did you? It just shows how much cooking you do. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'd take it down, of course, actually, probably. Now the fingers. Got it? Thank you, yep. Ah. Oh, you didn't, did hey. you? I think our meal could be some time. Oops. It's OK. Well, we thought since Hawley had turned up some oyster shells, what he calls the ubiquitous oyster shell on this site, we would include oysters. Stewed, I believe, Lindsay. Stewed, yes. Yeah. Can I have a date? Well, a good pinch of that as well. A good pinch what of it, this, which is... What is it? It's the lovage seed. This is the lovage seed. seed. We'll chop a bit of the fresh lovage on afterwards. Cheese. That'll be nice, then. Is that uh, it? That, that's that's it. Put the pork back that's on. Third. Are you making these recipes up? It's oh, grief, no, no. no. This is coming out of Apicius's cookbook, which was first written in the first century AD. Yeah? What makes this particular meal special is it has mint and lovage sauce. Uh. Right. Mint chopped. We're going to have to chop up the apricots to go in the pork stew. Of course, you've got to stuff your dates. <laughs> There's a challenge. Who were Roman cooks? Mostly were they the slaves? Depending on the size of the household. If it was a big household, then you would have the slaves doing the cooking. We slit them, stoned them, stuffed them, peppered them, I'll salted them. them. You're going to And them now there. we're going to fry them. <laughs> Here we go. Pepper added. Soft boiled eggs with a pine kernel dressing. Carefully pounded in a port <laughs> mortar and pestle. And what's yeah. the status of this meal? It would work out at about 140 denarii for four people. If you've got a stonemason being paid 50 denarii a day, he's not going to be able to feed a family of four on this right. every day. This so is this is the, your top end of the range this cuisine. Is then, yeah. This is a status yes. blowout. OK, on the way. We've got pork with apricots. We got stewed oysters in wine. We got lettuce, lovage, honey cakes, and soft boiled eggs with a pine kernel dressing. What's it like? Mm. Is it all right? Mm. Now, you're supposed to use the oyster shells to dip into whatever you fancy. <laughs> what do they say about me? <laughs> so finally, we're eating. And if that isn't enough to celebrate, Carenza's got some more good news for us. We have actually found the mosaic floor. Hey. Or at least we found one piece of it. <laughs> one but it is actually a nice bit of tessera that has come from an area where we think we've got a building coming out as well, and we've got roofed stone too. So we do think we may have found the Roman villa. So, end of day two, and is this the only piece of tessera that we're going to find, or will we find the whole of the rest of the floor under the roof tomorrow? Join us a bit later and find out. Cheers. <laughs>